So guys over of here, the week is starting strong and we finally got the buyer for Silicon Valley Bank officially. So if you're somehow unfamiliar with the situation, the Silicon Valley Bank initially collapsed at March 10th and all its assets and deposit went into custody of FDIC. And since then they were looking for a buyer, taking bids on the bank. We had all sorts of speculation on who may buy the bank and one of the bidders reportedly again because they denied to comment publicly on that but uh, it was reported by some of the media like the bloomberg that first citizens bank was indeed uh, preparing the bid uh, on silicon valley bank assets but again there was no concrete information on that only speculations and now we finally got the official statement from fdic that the uh, first citizens bank would indeed be buying Silicon Valley Bank. However, if we look at the statement, uh, technically they are partially buying. As always, I'm gonna be quoting from the document with some reductions. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation entered into a purchase and assumption agreement for all deposits and loans of SVB by First Citizen Bank and Trust Company. The former 17 branches of Silicon Valley Bank will open as First Citizen Bank and Trust Company on Monday, uh, March 27th, so effectively today. Customers of Silicon Valley Bank should continue to use their current branch until they receive notice from First Citizen Bank that system conversions that system conversions has been completed to allow full service banking at all of its current branch locations. Depositors of Silicon Valley Bank uh, will automatically become depositors of First Citizen Bank. All deposits assumed by First Citizens Bank will continue to be insured by FDIC up to insurance limit. And now we get into the meaty part, the numbers. As of March 10th, Silicon Valley Bank had approximately 167 billion in total assets and about 119 billion in total deposits. Today's transaction included the purchase of about 72 billion of SVB assets at a discount of 16.5 billion. Approximately 90 billion in securities and other assets will remain in receivership for disposition by the FDIC. FDIC also received equity appreciation rights in the first season bank shares, uh, common stock with the potential value for up to 500 million. So they didn't buy all the assets and 90 billion is still in custody of FDIC. And it also states that FDIC and First Citizen Banks entered into a loss share transaction on the commercial loans that it, that uh, been purchased in this agreement. It means that FDIC will share the potential losses and recoveries on the loans um, that are covered in this uh, loss share agreement. According to the document, the loss share transaction is projected to maximize recoveries on the assets by keeping them in the private sector. The transaction is also expected to minimize disruptions for loan customers. It also states that FDIC estimates the cost of the failure of Silicon Valley Bank to its deposit insurance funds to be approximately $20 billion. The exact cost will be determined when the FDIC terminates the receivership. So as far as I understand the whole thing, in this particular deal, they basically sold the bank itself, the branches, the current deposits, and some of the assets. And now for the rest of the assets, they have to look for a different buyer. That's just how I understand it. But again, I'm not a banking specialist, so don't quote me on that. That's all I wanted to cover today. Thank you for watching. Please drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon.